Well hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and you've guessed it, you joined me and Chris down at our local beach at Breen Chris is just digging a few of the plentiful lug that are on the beach as you can see Why pay for it when you can dig it? And it's a very mild and very calm afternoon it's currently about half past one and we've got a high at five. A pretty low tide for around here. It's just over 10 metres, which isn't ideal. I'd rather have another metre on it, but nice to get out. We haven't been out that much recently. So as usual, we'll be fishing just a locally dug lug. Probably pulley rigs. I'm probably going to stick to size one hooks or something quite small. I would imagine that bass will be the main target today, although there's always a chance of a lake cod or a spring cod. And the weather's definitely improved after that horrendous weather last week. Right, well, we'll tackle up in a minute and get out there. See you soon. Good one. And another. A good sized worm today. Oh, yeah, got it. Well done. And there you go, sort of. 8 to 10 freshly dug lug on a pulley rig, size 1s and a 6 ounce lead with no grips just let it roll about with it if it wants to there are times when you need grip leads out here but if you can get away with it it's probably better not to the bottom is very soft mud so sometimes they get a bugger to, to shift right let's get this one out Lovely overhead conditions today. As usual, the Bristol Channel, it's muddy self, but that means that you can catch quite well in the day, so can't complain. It's a gentle lob to start with. Perfect. old slosh loaded with about 350 yards of 16 pound I think it is and walk it back oh it's lovely to be out again haven't done as much fishing as I'd like so far this year but that will start to change I think Chris and I are planning a chesel trip on Friday I'm not quite sure which part of the beach we'll go to yeah I did that's already been out there two minutes That was a hell of a bite That was a cr cracking bite Is he still there? He's off and running. It's a good one. 
see my own leg. You make them off on this small hook, isn't Yeah, size 4 hook. Mm. He's, a, he's a very good one. Look at it, do you see him right there? No, I can't. where is he? He's in between that, he's a long way out, but he's just splashed on the surface. To pull that way there. Be careful with it, Chris. Not too much. No. What a start. Should I go down and see him? Yeah. Try and get him for you. So where is he? What a start! Bait's only been in the water. Less than five minutes. He's over here somewhere. Oh, I can tell oh, it is a beauty. I've just seen his tail. It is an absolute cracking bass Chris. It's a big one Chris. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Not quite sure where he is there. Where is he, Chris? Down to that. Down that way. Can't see him. Sorry? No, it's a big fish. Hey? It is a big fish, Chris, yeah. 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 Okay, Chris. Take your time. Look, 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 look. Yeah, I can see it, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a really big fish. No, no. Get him on this way first. Take your time. Take your time. I saw its tail. It was enormous. Stay on, stay on. Oh, I can see it out there. It is an enormous fish. That could be a double. That could be a double, that could. Hey? No, that's fine. Is he taking line? This could be a double figure fish, I reckon. <laughs> oh, don't we love fishing? Bloody hell, this is a great fish. No, no, well, don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. Still taking line. Oh, oh, look at the size oh. of that. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Chris. Yeah. 
the biggest bass I've ever seen off this thing. Yep. I don't think I'm going to get it in yet. Yeah, you will. Just take your time. Yeah, and then he's off. Big fish. Oh, you're getting him. You're getting a little bit closer. Yeah. 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 I'll go out again. What a fish! He's just coming there. That is an enormous fish. Holy shit, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that bass. Holy shit. What a fit, look at that, size four in the scissors. How big is that? How big is that? I don't know. That's got to be... That's got to be... I don't know, I don't know. let's get some food. 15? I don't know, that's enormous. Just keep him in the water for a bit. My God, what a fish. You have, you have him, Chris. No, no, no. You, you got to hold him. No, that's fine. So you hold him in a minute. <coughs> and you hold him, and I'll take some pictures. You can't, you can't keep that though, can you? No, absolutely not. No. Have you got him? Yeah. Have you got him? Hang yeah. on, hang on. Yeah. Hang on, get my camera. That is absolutely enormous, Chris. Holy shit on a stick, look at that! <laughs> I don't know how big that is. Easy a double. Yeah, double more. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get wet feet. Holy shit! What a fish! Oh mate, what a fish! <laughs> what a fish! He's he's going. He's going slowly. I don't know. What do you reckon? Well, I'll give you I'll give you twelve for that. I would think. Eleven. Eleven or twelve. 
double figure bass. Fucking get in! <laughs> what a fish! <laughs> Bloody hell! Wow! That's all I can say. I mean, <laughs> you just don't expect that, do you? We caught some nice bass here up to about seven pounds before, but my goodness me. Size four hook, lip hooked just by a flap of skin in the scissors. Jeez, didn't weigh it, got it back quickly, easily a double. Oh, oh, wow. Well, unless we catch another one like that, anything else is going to be a bit of an anti climax, I think. Oh, we were just chatting, we don't need to just cast the rods out and we were just catching up because I hadn't seen each other for a week and Chris and Rob was just, just hooped over. My goodness me. Whoa. That's a big fish as well. Holy shit on the stick, what's going on? That's a big fish as well, Chris. Ooh. It won't be a tenner though. You don't get oh. two of them in a second. You've got some slightly bigger hooks in there too. I have, I've got size one, so. You're a little more secure than I did. That's a big fish as well. Maybe it's the same one, Chris. Come back for seconds. taken off quite like mine. It'll be a, well, it's a further out though isn't it? It'll be a standard three pounder I reckon. It feels better than that. Does it? It does. That was a good take as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Rod just right over. Straight out. Mm. Ooh. Oh, giving their head in this, and my head acts silly again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's as big as yours, I wouldn't expect it to be, but it's still a nice fish. What a session. Pretty well straight in front, Chris, somewhere. I think he's off. He's off, yeah, he's off. Yeah, he's off. Bloody hell. No, he's off. I've got a bite on this one now. Loads of slack. Loads of slack. Are you there? Something's there. Yep, something's there.
Can you take my stuff back in a minute, Chris? It's just crazy. That doesn't feel like a bass though. Deary me, come on. After losing that previous one, I'm a bit nervous with this. Feels like a ray, to be honest. <laughs> Godness knows, that feels a bit more bassy. That feels a bit more bassy. Getting closer. Come on. If you want to rush it, it could be a, again, it feels like a good fish. That's another big bass. Bloody hell. Whoa. Bloody hell! That's another enormous bass! What is going on? Don't come off. That's another double figure bass, I think. Oh, not quite. <laughs> Hell, that's another good bass. Hell. <laughs> 
Blimey, time to draw breath. Still two hours to high. Three fish hooked, all big fish, two landed. Wow. A bit of extra bait, <laughs> we need it. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. I might have to find that first rod in. Yeah, get it get that in, rebate it and get it out again. That has been one of the most hectic hours fishing we've had for a long, long time. Goodness me. Well I hope the footage came out okay on the GoPro. <laughs> Slightly manic and panicky. Right, four rods out again. Let's see what happens. Not as small as you thought then. No, not yet. Have you caught a glimpse of him? <laughs> it's an eel! Oh. <laughs> it's alright, it wasn't, it wasn't big. No, no, no. no. I'll leave you to deal with that. No, I think it was too much to expect that that was going to be another big bass. <laughs> oh dear. The beauty of Breen is that you can come down here, dig your bait for free, fish lug, and you can catch anything out there. We've caught bass, cod, sole, flounder, Thornbacks, eels, everything takes lug on this beach. Dogfish. Dogfish. Lots of catch trigger. We've got yeah, we've got place and we caught a trigger fish off here many years ago, which is unbelievable really. No, it's an easy beach to fish for anyone who's interested. Knock on the left hand rod there, definitely a, something interested in it. Definitely. I'm going to give it a bit of slack, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, close in. Definitely something showed an interest in it. Not like the bites we've had though. Well, it's all gone a bit quiet for the last three quarters of an hour or so. Getting up towards high. The main run of tide when it's really running its quickest is sort of between three and an hour and a half before high and that's when generally we get our biggest bites. The tide's definitely slackened off and so have the bites. But we've got another half hour or so till high so we'll keep going. There was obviously a big shoal of 
very big bass in relatively close there and we were lucky enough to land on them. It's what brings you fishing. Chris just trying a, a short lob. We're getting nothing on the baits that are out at range, so try one just over the back of those breakers. I mean, the, the two bass we've caught and the one we lost have all, all been relatively short range. Hand rod just banks the bit there. Looked a bit whitingy to me. We'd like a four. We'd like a cod. We'd like a nice flat cod. We'd just yeah. just finish it off, wouldn't it? Yeah. What a day. Here you go, Chris. Well, it gave a, it gave a little bounce a couple of minutes ago, yeah. All right, just try one really close. You never know. Well, that's it. High tide has come and gone. We haven't had any bites for upwards of an hour. But, whew, that was a session to remember. That bass of Chris's, what an absolute fish of a lifetime. Amazing. Both the bass went back and swam away strong, which was lovely to see. We were just lucky enough there to, to land on a, a shoal of very sizable bass feeding hard, for which we are eternally grateful. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Tight lines. Cheers.